now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All things considered, it could be worse. We could be looking at colder temperatures and stronger winds, but not exactly ideal conditions for the weekend, and it's going to be deja vu for tomorrow. Pretty much the same thing is going to be on deck. We're going to have cold temperatures paired with those relatively strong winds. Not enough to rip any tree branches down or anything like that, but just enough to make it feel kind of sharp outside. We have 10 to 20 mile per hour sustained winds across Connecticut along the coast. That's where we see the strongest winds up in the Northwest Hills. Also seeing some of those values up to 15 or 20 miles per hour. And wherever there's a little bit of some exposed areas, there's no trees, the winds get mo more momentum. That's where we see some of those worst wind chills right now feeling like one degree in Salisbury, feeling like six degrees in Groton and here in Hartford, we're looking at a nine degree wind chill. Harsh wind chills are going to continue for tomorrow. I wish I could say something else is going on, but it's really just going to be basically the exact same weather for Sunday. In fact, temperatures are going to be slightly cooler, so therefore overall it's going to be feeling colder for tomorrow. We're going to have some light snow on Tuesday. Our confidence is building that we'll see at least a dusting for most places in Connecticut. It's going to be a relatively uh, routine or probably a little bit uh, a threshold below that really just a little bit of snow for us on Tuesday and we're looking at our next major storm system sailing well to the south of Connecticut by the time we get to Thursday. After Tuesday, we're not looking at a whole lot in the forecast. Nothing showing up on radar. No clouds either. We're looking at clear skies overnight. That is also part of the recipe for very cold temperatures while we're asleep. Also aiding in those wind chills getting very uncomfortable by the time we wake up for tomorrow. Here's a look at those temperatures into tomorrow evening. 7 p.m. on Sunday, we're looking at 20s across Connecticut, New London up to 25 degrees by this point. And we'll see those temperatures into Monday morning into the 20s. I'm excited about Monday. This is going to be arguably the best day of the week. We're going to see the winds backing off and also temperatures boosting up quite a bit compared to the stuff that we're going to have on Sunday. If it works out for you and you can spend some time outside on Monday, I definitely recommend it before we start to transition to some cooler weather once we get to Tuesday. Certainly cloudier weather once we get to Tuesday. Here's a look at our future satellite radar. We're looking at clear skies into tomorrow morning. That's the one silver lining for the end of the weekend. We're going to have plenty of sun. If you're able to somehow feel the sun without any winds, if you're able to get some sort of shield in front of you or just some trees to kind of block the wind, it won't be so bad outside, but if you got any uh, areas of exposed skin, you definitely want to be bundling up big time for tomorrow. Into Monday morning, we're looking at clear skies yet again. Uh, I like what's going on for Monday. We're going to have clear skies to go with those above average temperatures. Here's a look at our future precipitation model here by Tuesday afternoon. We're going to see some snow showers coming in from the west. It looks unlikely that we would have any of these snow showers, very light snow showers affect the morning commute, but there may be some very minor travel impacts for Tuesday evening. So the PM commute could be slightly affected by that. And we're also looking at the potential for some snow accumulations. We're looking at areas, most areas in Connecticut with the potential for dusting. There will be scattered. There'll be some pockets of one inches of snowfall. The farther west you live, the better your odds of picking up an inch plus a snowfall, but we're really going to stay between that trace amount to one inch mark once we get to Tuesday. And I wouldn't be surprised if locally we see some places get up to two inches in the Litchfield Hills. Forecast high temperatures for tomorrow. We're looking at just under 30 degrees across most of the state with those harsh wind chills. Our seven day forecast is going to give us mainly 30s after we get through tomorrow. Tomorrow stands out quite a bit. Only 28 degrees for that high temperature. Tuesday looking like our best chance of snow. Remember just about a dusting up to one inch across the state and we'll stay dry for the rest of the forecast and those winds will pick back up for us on Thursday and Friday.